your majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for returning if you're a returning subscriber thank you for the show of love thank you for always giving the thumbs up to all my videos for always leaving your comments i do not take that for granted thank you so so much for all that you do for this community to keep growing for if you're new here thank you for clicking why not subscribe to the channel to be part of the family hope you well in all that you do and you're loving yourself and others like always i keep saying that you need to love yourself so you can love others charity begins at home it starts from within so you can you understand um today we're going to talk about something that went viral on facebook on youtube on TikTok, this whole idea of what are we doing to the white people like it's like oh the whole um, emphasis is always on our people uh, we're always coming out to say white people are doing these to us white people are doing this to those other races and the rest of them oh white people when you're talking about racism you only talk about white people and we are not thinking about what we are doing to white people like what are we doing what uh, can you just leave that that answer the section what are we really doing to white people anyway okay his name is charlie cheon that should be a chinese right and um he was listing a whole lot like a whole lot of um, things that we do to white people and we feel it's nothing uh because um they deserve it like we think they deserve it okay uh before we continue i would want to say that there is no justification for any wrong done to anybody of any race there is no justification Talk about what we're doing to white people there's been something going on for a while now that we're being told not to notice more to the point that we're asking white people not only to ignore but to accept the rising tide of racial hatred against white people in the past decade, there has been a noticeable cultural shift in what constitutes acceptable speech as it relates to white people. Back when I was a kid, in the early 2000s, the mainstream American culture preached about respecting each other's differences and not seeing color. Nowadays, we say that not seeing color is racism, that you must see color. But the more I see how things are unfolding, the more I'm convinced that this is wrong. Back then, saying something offhanded about white people were seen as not appropriate just as it would be to say something offhanded about people of any other race. But that soon gave way to our current times, in which there exists virtually no limit to what racial minorities can and do say about white people. I believe this is the natural outgrowth of a perverse ideology that teaches us that everything, every societal ill, is the fault of white people. What are we doing to white people? Well, as people of color, we're totally discriminating against white people because we have the power to do so, right? That is basically the whole rhetoric of his video. He also mentions that in the early 2000s when he was a kid growing up, that he saw all these videos preaching about how we shouldn't be racist and that we shouldn't see color. He just seemed to forget that this was during a time post 9-11, okay, Hurricane Katrina, oh, and the border. We shouldn't be racist and we shouldn't see color, yet this rule did not apply to all the Muslims after 9-11, this did not apply to all the black people after Hurricane Katrina, and this definitely did not apply to all the Hispanic people at the border. And he wants to continue the rhetoric that white people are definitely the ones who are being discriminated on, especially in modern day. Within the middle of that video, he also cherry picks a lot of videos on TikTok that are usually made by Zoomers or people have a um, questionable uh, credibility or even just opinion on racism itself. And he says, oh, look at what everyone is seeing as a norm. Like for example, that one girl who said like, oh, don't bring your white friend into a POC friend group because I don't want to deal with their white shenanigans sort of bullshit, right? Like, no, not everyone finds that as, an, as normal, okay? But he's saying that this is what a lot of people find normal. Instead of actually taking a deep dive and showing what people actually think about the topic on racism, he decides to show these like extremist views that many people do not even agree with whatsoever. Because you know, those videos are very laughable. Showcasing these videos make it a lot easier for him to demonize the people who label themselves as leftist or progressive with their views on racism. What he's also failing to realize is that we're not in the 2000s anymore. We are in 2023. Also, a lot of the times, white people make fun of themselves or their friends for being white. Because white itself is not a culture, it is rather 
an identification of power. Like they are the race that holds power. Like back then, they didn't even consider Greek, Irish people, Italian people, Polish people, etc. as white people. And they didn't even consider Germans as white people like way back then in Benjamin Franklin's time. Because it's a concept that is expanding. So when anybody, whether it be people of color or even white people themselves, make fun of white people, it is like the same as making fun of straight people. Because we are making fun of the people who hold power. Because, you know, we're in a society where, you know, we gotta have jokes. Like, we can always have jokes and whatnot as long as it doesn't go as far as like, oh, these people are lesser than us, like no matter what culture it is. But a lot of people are not saying that white people are lesser, they're just making fun of them for being in power. Like with all the anecdotes that he showed us with like those progressive leftist TikTokers, right? It seems like he wants to farm like conservative or alt-right supporters. So when you see videos like this, don't fall for it. Not all people of color think I, I, I didn't bother going to everything he said because I felt it's it's not it's not um connecting, like it's not connecting all the debates and everything he brought up does not hold water. That is why I didn't even go into everything he said. But I just brought out this lady's own because I felt she brought out some things that were crucial and I believe we all heard it right. Now the injustice down to all the races in this world cannot be compared with anything done to any white person. I don't even see where a white person is maltreated in any way. Because this whole idea of maltreating people, this whole idea of stepping down on other people's races, who initiated them? Now, like I said from the beginning, I will not be in support of any of our people colors like me and you going to talk going ahead talking down on the white people i would never be in support of it you get my point like okay going deliberately just to search for trouble look for trouble and the rest of them i would never be in support of it but i don't see that happening like so often as i see the black image being treated in the other way now i will talk about my race and they can talk about their race now what do you think what do you think we are doing to white people that have to raise this um, thought? You know, you, when you get down to the video of this guy on YouTube, uh, you saw the name, I'm going to leave the name on the screen. You saw, no, the whole happiness is there. It's like he, he hits the nail on the head for them and they were so happy that he brought this up. They were praising him. They were so happy that all this while a lot of injustice has been done to them and nobody cared to sit and think about that. Then I asked myself, when they and their ancestors, like, okay, they keep saying it, that what they do, they are not their ancestors. But you see traces of what the ancestors does in them even till today. In the schools, like some of you living in the diaspora, do you see them, some, 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 and majority, because this thing is from the breast. It's like, they teach them while breastfeeding. When you see another color, especially the one that is dark, this is how you treat them. And that was why, I think there was a video I made here where I show you when these people were were lynching people like me and you when they were maltreating people like me and you um they brought their children there you could see a child of eight year old six year old ten year old standing and looking at everything that was happening what do you think they were doing indirectly they are teaching them that this is how we do it so this is how you should continue because i don't see the reason why you will be lynching a human being like you and you have a little child there looking at what you do and these children were there looking at this man hanging up there with the whole fire and everything going up on him and there was no remorse at all. There was no remorse at all. And then you tell me what you're asking what we're doing to white people? Shouldn't we be asking what are white people doing to other races? Shouldn't, don't, don't we have the right to ask that question? Now, well, if, if we are to debate this, I think, you know, I don't know. What do you think? Leave your comment there at the section. Because the whole human race have been deceived by the white race. The whole human race. Because when I talk about this, I talk about the whole whitewashing of everything in history. And the, the rate of, of the 
the injustice even done to our people cannot be compared with what they do to other people they can accept other people that look somehow like them and pretend they can love them but they can't do that to us like straight to our faces they're gonna say what they want to see now you asking what we are doing to white people now what is white people doing to other people do you remember when the, those times where you you can't you are not allowed to enter or use the restroom of the white people if you are black have you all forgotten those times those times where if you are black you do not have the right to stand up when a white man is standing now those questions are not asked what are the white people doing to other races and it's still happening to you today because they are still ruling us they are still in charge of the world like she said they are the ones in power they are the ones in charge so come on because I, I most of the videos on on YouTube and TikTok I watch them and I see the happiness that these are brothers and sisters have that someone could stand up for them like this like oh my goodness we are doing so much wrong to them that a messiah has come to save them from what we are doing there are other videos of where you see the maltreatment the brutality given to other races by the white people and all this is all the idea of they are the ones in charge they are the ones in power and like i keep saying they teach this to their children from the breast like they let them know that you are a king so you should be treated as one they are so in tune to power that they feel it's their right even in the way they act with other people not in the political level now just even normally with other people there is this whole supremacy thing in their roots in their blood in their system that they just feel that they are up they are spirit they are everything and then they have to make you be like you, you remember the jim crow law that we've been talking about now what are they doing to other races we don't ask that now okay if he felt that this um what, what what other people are doing to white people what are we doing to white people per se and then he should also sit back and go back into history and see what white have done to other races now i think what we should be going after is a way forward how to heal and then if possible if possible let go of all these things and and push forward not even going behind and start instigating things like oh my goodness this is just something else this is just something else right and making them feel like oh we've done a whole lot of evil to them and i'll still repeat it there is no justification for any wrong done to anybody be it a white person be it a black person be it any color of race or races there is no justification done to, to to there's no justification for any evil done rather to anybody so i don't know where all these are coming from because when you sit and think about this whole thing it's like nothing has even happened to the white race nothing has happened to them compared to all the things they have done to other races yeah do you get right there are blacks that are extremists there are whites that are extremists there are other races that are extremists yeah we have them in every races and they always have their own opinion now you can't rely on that opinion and make it a general uh, sorry and then generalize it and say okay this is how it should be if someone from any other race is attacking the white race it's that person it's not everybody it's not everybody personally i would want us to live peacefully if that is possible because i keep using this word if that is possible because you always see a problem rising up from nowhere from nowhere when you watch some clips of what these people these white people that they are asking what we are doing to them are doing to other people you will cry you will shed tears and you ask yourself but what why but why what is really happening you ask that question with tears in your eyes I've seen a lot. Some you can't share on the media because they're going to block it, they're going to take it down. They do this deliberately because they know what they do. They know what they do to other races. And I get this young man saying this. What do you think, my people, your majesties? Like I keep saying, we are all kings and queens, right? Your majesties. What do you think about this whole thing? Leave your comment and thought there at the section. And I will see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe. Stay positive. Bye for now.